What's up YouTube? This is the Eclectic Mechanic and welcome back to my workshop. Today I am going to be doing a video for you guys on how to get rid of that awful smell that is coming from your hot water. It's usually just one, one problem and that is a simple fix that you can do and you don't need to call a plumber for. So let's start by what you need for the project. First off, you're going to need a new anode rod. You can buy these at Home Depot, Menards, or Lowe's. They're in this particular one I bought from Menards for only 30, 36 bucks. You're going to need a large socket wrench with a 1 and 1 16th inch socket. They are all the same size, all very universal. You're going to need some Teflon tape, a screwdriver, some hose, and a flashlight depending on where your water heater is located. First step is you're going to go to your water heater's lines and locate the water shutoff valve. And you're going to shut that off. Next, you're going to run your hose from your drain spigot on your water heater to a floor drain or to the outside. And you're only going to drain about two gallons off the heater because that's all you need to clear the top of the anode rod so you won't get any water splashing on you. Depending on the valve on the base of your water heater, you might have a little leakage, but that's okay. Have a mop handy just in case. When draining off some of the water, you may need to open your relief valve just to let some air in after you've closed the main valve. While you let the tank drain a little bit, find the find the hole on the top of the water heater that says anode next to it. In this case, my heater was incorrectly labeled. It said that this this hole was the anode and not that one. In fact, the anode was in the one that is open right now. Remove the cap and carve out the styrofoam that is underneath to reveal the anode head. On certain water heaters, especially with gas, you will have to remove this top gray lid to reveal the anode rod head. You may need a friend to hold the water heater in place while you are cranking on the anode rod. Once you have the anode rod loose, you should be able to reach down in there with a pair of pliers or something and pull the rod out. Also be careful of insulation falling into your heater. Careful, the anode rod may be hot. If the anode rod has a lot of crust on it, and it looks like it's been eaten away, almost like Swiss cheese, it's been doing its job correctly. With your new anode rod, hold it up against the side of the tank to make sure that it will fit. If it won't, use a hacksaw or, or if it's a flexible rod like this, use a bolt cutters and you should be able to cut through that wire, no trouble. Now feed the new anode rod back into the water heater. Use a flexible rod if you are limited on space above the heater. Before you put the, the anode rod in, all the way in, use Teflon tape to seal the threads before putting it in. This will help prevent water leaks when the, the tank is refilled. If you're using regular white Teflon tape, go around five or six times. If you're using blue, blue or yellow gas tape, you only have to go around three or four times as it is a much thicker material.
Finally lower the anode rod in and use your socket extender to thread to begin threading it into the tank. Keep tightening until the water heater shifts on its base. anode rod should be in. For the next step, turn your water back on and check for leaks. Opening a sink valve somewhere in the house to allow air to escape from the, from the hot water tank. Having dirty water come out of your spigots is not uncommon after changing an anode rod because a lot of the sediment buildup can be left behind inside the tank. This is also a convenient way to flush some of the grit out of your system. Just also be mindful that any sink with an aerator on it may collect some of the grit that's coming out of the tank. All right, guys, and there you have it. Just like that, we have swapped out an anode rod and a water heater. This should be the remedy of a lot of the nasty gunk that and the awful rotten egg smell that you might be getting out of your water heater. And the reason why that is is because the corrosive properties of the water actually are attacking the anode rod. And here's the old anode rod one, one more time. And you can see there's a, just a bunch of buildup on this thing. It's not so much eaten into, and it looks like this is an old aluminum rod, but if you look closely here at the bottom part of it, you'll, you can see there is, it really did actually start eating into this rod. And so, clearly this rod needed to be replaced because I was getting some awful rotten egg smell in my hot water and in my shower. And I had just put in, it, put in a new water softener to help remedy that problem, and it didn't help it at all. So a new anode I just put in the new anode rod and that should be the end of the end of the, our problems with that nasty smell and the only thing left to do on this system is to try it out after it's had some time to really flush the tank out and this could this will be something where I'll probably just run the laundry washer empty a couple of times to just really flush the old water out and get some fresh water in. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button down below, if, especially if you like these home repair videos. I am going to be bringing some more to you on in that realm and thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless.